Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got another completely legitimate tutorial video for you guys. This time on how to fix your Joy-Con drift. That's right. We all know that those Joy-Cons drift a lot and it's really annoying. But today I'm going to be showing you guys a completely new, never before seen method on how to fix that drift so your controllers will work perfectly every time. Now let's get into the video. Hey, what's going on guys? I realized I forgot to shave before we started the video, so I'm just doing that right now. But I also thought I'd better remind you guys, if you like this video, like the video. And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. We hit 60 subscribers recently, and quite frankly, I want more. I'm super greedy, so please subscribe. Alright, now back to the video. Alright guys, so the first part of the tutorial today is going to be to get your Joy-Cons and test them out. We're going to want to know if they actually do drift before we start working on them, or else you guys are going to be wasting a lot of time. This is a very involved process. So I'm just going to go get mine right now. Alright guys, so as you can see I've got lots of Joy-Cons, but today we're going to be working on just these grey ones, as they'll be the best example to show you how this tutorial works. Okay, so now we're going to test it out. Let's see. As you can see, I am not touching the controller in any way. Just moving it to the left and it goes all the way to all software. That means this Joy-Con is drifting and it does need to be fixed. Alright guys, so as you can see, I've gotten myself a screwdriver right now. We're going to need this because we're going to want to unscrew. There's little screws right on the back right there. I don't know if you can see it. But we're going to need a screwdriver to unscrew those, so let's do that really quickly. Okay guys, so I took a look at that Joy-Con's back off camera, and it did in fact need a new part, which I've now put in. So now though comes the new part of this method. We're going to need some grade A packing tape. Now I got this stuff from the dollar store. It's going to work wonderfully for what we're going to need to do next. Alright guys, so you're going to want to flip your Joy-Con over like this, then you're going to want to take a small piece of that tape. And if you remember from earlier, this Joy-Con was drifting to the right. You're going to want to put the tape in the opposite direction that the Joy-Con was drifting in. So we're going to move this stick over to the left, and we're just going to stick the tape on really nicely there. Okay, that's perfect. Now let's try it out. Alright guys, and now as you can see, the Joy-Con is no longer drifting, which is fantastic. We have fixed the Joy-Con. Now the unfortunate part of this new method is that you can no longer use the stick on this Joy-Con, but that's okay. It works, everything else works perfectly fine, and we have fixed the problem. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Hope this helps you guys fix your Joy-Con drift. And let me know down in the comments if this does in fact help you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next super legitimate tutorial.